<laughs> I know, I know. Been there, done that. I think we we. Good morning, good afternoon, Facebook. I got it right today, and hello, John. Good afternoon, Stephen. How are you? I'm looking forward to the weekend. Uh, this is Inspired Burn video with John and myself. And the way that this works is that every week, John does a short or a long instructional <laughs> yeah, video. Long. <laughs> and it's all about in video, which is quite probably the best way to create business videos for use on, well, anywhere on the planet, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Pinterest, on YouTube. And it's a great way to actually market your business without having to say a word. So without further ado, I'm going to switch my camera off. I'm going to switch John's camera. You want to do an intro? Uh, well, yeah, it's about simple animation. So you're going to see a seven second animated video and then learn how to make it. Hope you find it useful. All right. And Kelly's saying good afternoon. And I switch John's camera off. And hope you find it useful is the key word, Stephen, because they're the last words on the video. Okay, right. Let's let's go for it. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Oh. This week we've put the cart before the horse. We've shown you the video Hi. first. Okay. Well, this we week, haven't we've put the cart show you before the horse. We've shown you the video oh, first. Now I'm going to show you how to make that video. We'll also point the bug out because there is a bug in what we're going to do. So, without too much ado, we're going to go blank canvas and yes, use this template. Okay, build your own scene. Um, I'm just going to get rid of the logo. I know I normally put mine in, but I'm not going to bother this week. And I'm going to move the build your own scene out of the way. Now, what we're going to do is look at animation. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make this a seven second video. OK, that's because I'm going to create animations, three seconds, static one second and out animations, three seconds. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to shapes and I'm going to go to solid and I'm going to add a circle. Now you can't see it at the moment because the colour's black on black so we're going to make it a nice bright red. Okay and now I'm going to add some animation to that. Now I actually am going to end up with four of these red shapes um, but I'm going to put the animation on first and then we can simply change the animation uh, as we as we have all four. Basically, I'm going to make the red circle come in from the outside as a large object shrinking down and then go out from the center to into north, south, east and west and shrink as it goes out. OK, so this is fairly simple animation, but you can make some nice looking things up with the animation that is available. So my animation, I've got none. So in, I'm going to go to zoom, slide, zoom, and I'm going to go up from the bottom and I'm going to make it three seconds. That, so that means it's going to come in from the bottom, go to the center and take three seconds to achieve that. Now, you can do in place animation, but I'm not going to do any here because I just want it to remain static. OK, and then out animation, I'm going to. It came up from the bottom, so I'm going to zoom out to the bottom. So zoom out. Didn't do that right. Zoom out to down. Make that three seconds and let's have a quick preview. OK, so I have actually done that in from the top and out from the bottom. And uh, let's check that's what we've done. 
So zoom from up. What I'm actually going to do is to change that to zoom from down. So they come in from the one direction and go out in the same direction. So let's just preview that in one second of static and then it's going to drop out and go tiny. Okay, so quite simple, quite straightforward, but I want to make my zoom from down three seconds. Okay, so that's three seconds from the bottom coming in and three seconds going out with one second static in the middle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do Control C, Control V. Okay, now when it was placed it was centered exactly but when it's duplicated it's not in exactly the same place but you can use these lines to get your line up right okay so let's do it properly that's the line up in the center and that's the line up in there they go dotted when you're very close it's solid when you're exact Okay, so it's again, it's a really good guidance. Now, if I preview it now, helps if you click on the preview, we only see one because I'm doing both of them from the same direction. So what we're going to do now is let's look at layers. Okay, we've got element one, which was the first circle and element two, which is the second circle. So we want the second one. Let's click on edit. Let's click on animation and let's go to zoom from up. Now in here I always get confused because I think up it's going to come from the bottom and down it's going to come from the top. But it's the other way round, okay? So zoom from up means it will come down from the top, okay? And let's change that to three seconds. It, the animation always goes to one second when you change it and zoom to up. OK, you get a little hint when you hover over the animation. Yeah, if we click on there, look, you can see to up goes there. OK, so we've got a down and an up. Let's play that. OK, seeing what we've got there. So let's duplicate it again. Control C, Control V. And again, you can see it's slightly offset. So we're there on that and there on that. So now we've got three of them on top of each other. If we go to layers, you'll see we now have element three. So that's the first circle, second circle and third circle. So let's go to edit and this one going to change the animation but instead of up and down we're going to bring it in from the right yeah so we're going to zoom from the right okay and on the out we're going to zoom to the right and again three seconds let's do okay, made the end yep so let's preview again and now I've got three circles coming into the middle and three circles going out. So, control C, control V. And again, if we check the layers, you'll see that we now have element four. And again, OK, so again, it's perfectly centered. And this time, if we, you can see it's highlighted as element four. So if we go to edit, animation, we only have the left direction or north, south, east and west, whichever way you want to refer to them. But they use right and left and down and up. OK, so this time we're going to zoom in from the left. We're going to make that three. And then we're going to go out and we're make, going to make that zoom to the left. Yep, and we're going to make that three. OK, so preview. OK. And when we go out now, there's the error. When it goes out to the left, it's a different, different speed. 
the guys know about it and it's something they're looking into as to why it doesn't go out at the same speed to the left. Comes in all right, but doesn't go out correctly. OK, so we've got them now. But how about hiding something behind them? So when they all come in, there's something there to behind them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a sticker there. OK, and uh, any old sticker will do, but let's use the, the hands. It's perfectly centred and it's just a tiny fraction smaller than the red, which is great. So, there's a couple of things here about animation. OK, now you can do in, 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 in place and out. We're not going to do an out here. Yeah. And um, we're going to fade it in over three seconds, OK? But what we're going to do is we want it to fade in and appear but after the other things, OK? So let's change that to not start until two and a half seconds. OK, so here we're deciding where in the video it's going to start and where in the video it's going to end. So if we preview that, big circles, that's over the top, and away they go. OK, and if we go to out, let's do none, because I don't want it to fade away, I just want it to stay there. So let's... Preview that. Comes there and then the circles go away. Now, in the video you'll have noticed that it didn't come on top of the circles. It was revealed when you the circles went away. Now, to achieve that, all you need to do is go to the layers and we've got sticker one and simply put it below all the elements. So if we preview now, they'll come in, stay, and out go. And there it is again. So what I'm trying to show there is that you can actually have things above and below, and it's easy to move them simply by dragging them up and down in the layers list. Great stuff. So now I'm going to do something with some text. And the first thing I'm going to do is change the text there. So I'm going to cl click on there, go to edit, and I'm going to change this and I'm going to put it in capitals. So I'm going to lock capitals on my keyboard and I'm going to put text is text. Okay? Now the reason I'm doing that is I want me is to be in the middle so that what I can do. Oh, OK, see, now we have another issue there, don't we? <laughs> we wanted that to be above. So we can achieve that by going back to our layers and moving our text is text above element four. And now, if we move it down, you'll see it's at the top. And now it's perfectly centred. OK, and I want to animate that. So I'm going to go into the edit mode. I'm already on text is tech there. Uh, I'm just going to leave the style as it is. Um, I'm going to leave the colour as it is. But I'm actually going to animate. I'm only going to animate the text because I'm not going to put a box behind it. But if you put a box behind it, you can give the box separate in and out. But we're only going to animate the text. OK, we're going to leave it as a whole. But in fact, you can do it by word so you could manage it one word at a time sliding in so text would come in is would come in and text would come in you can do it by character so the first t e then the x then the t etc came in or you can do the whole do the line or if you have a paragraph of text you can use whole so we're just going to do line and what we're going to do is very simply we're going to slide it in from the right so we find our slide 
and we're going to slide it from the right. Now there's two forms of slide from the right. There's slide from the right uh, standard and slide from the right big. So if we slide from the right big, it means it will shrink the text down to its proper size. So you'll see in a bit. So let's make that three seconds. And remember we've got our seven seconds, so we've got three seconds. We're going to have nothing, and then we're going to have three seconds going out. So let's go to out. And it will assume that your out animation is the same as your in animation, so we're doing a full line here. And we're going to go out to the right. No, we don't want fade, we want slide. That would help fade to the right big. OK. And again, we want to make that three seconds. Let's just move the text block animation out of the way so there. So you'll see here that we've got them sliding in, and text is text, and text sliding out and revealing our handshake. OK, so what I'm going to do is like before, I'm going to do Control c Control v and I'm going to line that up as well. So again, you can see that we've got solid lines in and you can see there's no overlap there. And so if we go to my layers, we'll see we now have two text is text and I want the top one. So let's go edit. Now, before we made it animation come in from the right, and what we're simply going to do is slide it in from the left. OK, and again, we're going to make that three seconds in. We're going to go to that out and we're going to slide it to the left. Big three seconds. So let's preview that. Helps if you click. So now you can see we've got that. We've got those going out. And again, looking quite nice. Now let's add a little bit to it. So I'm going to go back to shapes. I'm going to go to line. And I'm going to put an underline. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is make this the same length. OK, and then I'm going to move it down. I'm using the keyboard because that keeps it in the correct vertical alignment. But I could have just dragged it and pulled it and again used the alignment there. So now I've got a line. And what I'm going to do with that is um, animate that as well. So if we go to animations, again, you've got in, in place and out. I'm not uh, going to uh, do an in place, but what I am going to do is an in and I'm going to fade it in this time. OK, three seconds and out. I'm going to fade it out. Three seconds. OK, so if we preview, OK, so you saw that and uh, looking pretty good. But what I wouldn't mind is enhancing it a little bit more with a box. So no, that's not what I want. Let's go to outlines. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this outline. I'm not, I've got to add it. Keep forgetting there. And the first thing I'm going to do is change the colour because it's difficult to see. And I'd like it the same red as here. So let's click my standard red. And then what I'm going to do is pull that out, pull that out. And then just make sure I've got it centered. So 
there we are so thick lines there and if we preview that you can see it all comes in and like I did with the line I'm simply going to do a simple animation on that so I'm going to go and I'm going to fade that in and I'm going to fade it out okay what I didn't do though was on the in was set the time to three seconds okay so now we've got that three seconds there let's preview it and when it's all gone I'm left with my handshake so I'm really happy with that so preview So I'm exporting that, I hope people find that useful. And hopefully oh hope you found that useful um and you can do your own experiments based on that and build your own graphical look and feel painstaking so you can't hear me i can now all right okay uh, it's probably a, a slight no. delay Yes, okay, it's the issue we had in the past, so let's not worry about it. Right, okay, so we're back. Thank you, John. Um, I'll have a go at that during the week. I think, I'll put, I think I'll put a this is the end thing on, the, <laughs> on them in the future so everybody knows we've got to the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no worries, no worries. Um, it was interesting and to show how the various layers fit together to produce the final. I mean, as you said when we were talking before the show, it's 18 minutes for a seven-second video. And uh, But at the end of that, it's, it's not about the video. It's about the explain everything and if you, you know, um, the various options available to actually put everything together. Possibly. Okay. You're going to show us one of yours. I am. It's nowhere near. Well, it's, it's, short, it's shorter. But that's, let's let's go. I'll bring it up on screen. And this, like most of my things, is a work in progress. I'm going to take my camera off. I'm going to take John's camera off, and we're just going to press play. By word of explanation, uh, this week, Be Live will be released uh, the ability to schedule to YouTube, as you can see the YouTube logo there. And I'm actually putting together a short video to outline the benefits of actually broadcasting to YouTube as opposed to any other platform. So let's go. And this is going to be quick. I used to hear you. This is going to be quick. Okay, that's the end of the video. Let's come back. I'll say it's just a short. So thing. the idea is that you're promoting the fact that you can now schedule videos from Be Live, not only on Facebook but now on uh, YouTube as well. 
That's that's right. And the, there, are, there are many differences or many benefits of actually broadcasting on YouTube. And it's to try and get those benefits across. In Full HD way. for one, I guess. Sorry? Full HD for one, I guess. Indeed, indeed. That's that's one of the things. The other things are, well, I've got a list of 10. So I'll bring this back next week. And uh, it, hopefully... You'll have your 10 on there. I will have the 10 on there. I'll have... These are all stock images or stock uh, video that was used. I will endeavour to uh, to improve on what they are uh, because some of them fit, some of them don't. But, I mean, it is an iterative process, as we know. You actually start with something, you end up with something totally different because you've gone through the stages of, well, of actually improving it uh, before you actually release it on an unsuspecting public. And I think that's the, the key is that uh, there is a lot of research and preparation that goes into creating even the shortest video. Yeah. Right, now speaking of which, uh, you're able to uh, get your videos uploaded to here under megabit, megabytes. Um, what do you use to actually shrink your videos? Because we talk, I was talking to David about this earlier in the week. Well, uh, everything you've displayed so far has been it's native output from uh, oh. in video but if oh. I want to shrink a video I use uh, most times um, that French product what's it called Je ne sais quoi. no um, uh, <laughs> sorry uh, you, you know you have those uh, brain dead moments I'm just looking at uh, my yes, desktop on my main PC and can I find it that's always the way just going to pull the video forward. Well, Handbrake well, is the word I'm looking for. I'll bring, I'll bring in Kelly's comment. And Kelly's saying... Handbrake. Ablesh Andal made... Handbrake. Made and posted a tutorial video from start to finish using the new platform. Maybe, yeah. Maybe you can get I think we've asked him to come on more times than... Uh, thing. Actually, in India, it's not a very good time while we're do when we're doing these. Right. It's the it, it's the early hours of tomorrow in India while we're that. doing this. Let's just check uh, if we go to Google and ask for the time in Delhi. It's ten o'clock at the moment. Ten o'clock? I thought it was later than that. So that was in the morning. Oh, anyway. Yeah, it's five and a half hours. That was his been his excuse in the past. <laughs> we'll have to uh, check him out. Yeah, so the tools I use online, I use, well, I download Handbrake, which does it does it for you. Um, and I also have a product called Video Proc, Video Processor, which also will shrink. Uh, video Processor is a little more difficult to use because it asks you more questions. And Handbrake is great because it has a list of options down the right hand side, which says make me stuff smaller, you know, so you can go to 1280 by 720, one click, and then you'll have three levels of performance. So I want it really fast, uh, not so fast and uh, uh, and uh, top quality. So the really fast is a lower quality than the top right. than the other one. So you get choice of size and a choice of speed if you like and quality yeah. that was that's my question if you do shrink a video you're actually degrading it aren't you uh, sometimes the answer to that is yes particularly if you let uh <laughs> facebook do the resizing for you because right. they just chuck it into a big monster whereas if you uh, go into some a product like handbrake and you don't choose the default options on the right you can choose the level of uh of um distortion if you like mm -hmm. uh, and the level of re the uh, thing different things that affects resizing uh, one of the other things i do um is they default to 128 um k uh, in the uh, sound and i just mm -hmm. knock it down to 80 whatever it is that the option 82 i think it is uh, okay. which shrinks the sound side of things you can't tell the difference right. unless you've got playing it through super duper hi-fi which not many people do yeah yeah but yeah okay 
but you can shrink the size of the video without without making it smaller dimension wise as well in handbrake so you know if it's too big oh yeah you've got a hundred limit and it's 110 um you can just take it in keep it 1920 but just drop the quality a tiny amount and suddenly mm -hmm. you'll find it's only 85 meg instead of 128 meg yeah and if you're actually broadcasting on facebook then you can afford to lose the quality uh well yes and no is the answer because okay. uh you'll notice there's a new thing called from source in the quality box when you uh, click down in the, there um and if you've got a hd video it will play it in hd oh. being full hd not 720p because it now goes 720p hd and the source is in between them that source not in tomato sauce but yeah. source as in s-o-u-r-c-e We've got the Solo Hill accent off pat now. We've been listening <laughs> for years, Kelly and I. Uh, and Kelly's posted the... Uh, yeah, handbrake. handbrake. That's what I said. It's a French product. Oi. Uh, video proc is also quite good because it has the ability to do transfer to different file types um, and also to create versions that are good on handheld devices etc um, and it's about 19 dollars so it's not earth shatteringly expensive right and can we put the link in for that afterwards before we um i think it's just well if you just um google video proc p-r-o-c all one word it will find it for you all good all right okay i'm getting ready for my trip to uh, to Sonia with David. Oh, I've got a picture. Kelly, I need some more pictures. Uh, well, okay. is this a virtual trip to Sonia? Are you with David okay. later today then? Uh, no, no, that's Monday. It's my next broadcast is on Monday. Um, oh, you're having a day off tomorrow. I may need one after last night. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm actually tomorrow. I'm creating video rather than uh, rather than going live. So a different, something different, because um, I've got to get the Udemy course up to date for the YouTube changes. Uh, so I'll be creating video tomorrow, mainly creating video. Right. OK, well, there you are. Uh, John's lesson uh, today was all about animation. John, it's over to you. Oh, OK, it's me. I get to see the outs on this show as well as this morning show. So... Um, I hope you find all the things you get from here useful. Um, you know, we do between us try and give you ideas, hints and tips. We would love you guys to come and join us. And we'd love to show your videos off to other people. And we do get a decent audience. It's not just watch who watches live. It's who watches the replay. So. Having said all of that, it's goodbye from him over there, who is nowhere near any big wide river or bridge. He's nearer Stonehenge than any bridge. Well, I suppose he could be nearer the Canal Bridge. Um, and uh, it's goodbye from me and Solihull in the centre of England. Bye. And I'm in the clouds somewhere. <laughs> Take care, everybody. <laughs> See you soon.